Welcome again students, welcome to this biology and in this tutorial video I am going to discuss about the active transport process. In the previous video we have discussed on the passive transport process. The passive transport have a totally opposite principle if I compare to the active transport. In passive transport the energy is not needed or the energy is excluded and the passive transport takes place down to its concentration gradient. But in case of active transport, the principle is two. At first, it uses energy. Uses energy. And, or by the ATP hydrolysis, and it takes place against its concentration gradient. Against concentration gradient. Okay, so this is the main two principle. Against to the concentration gradient means the solute particles move from the higher concentration to its lower concentration. Sorry, it's totally opposite. Uh, in against concentration gradient means the solute particles move from their lower concentration to the higher concentration. So this is totally opposite if I compare to the passive transport process. Okay. Uh, actually active transport process has two types. The first one is primary active transport. Primary. And another is secondary active transport. Okay. So, what is uh, primary and what is secondary active transport? Okay, so let's draw a cell. Let's clear the board. This is a cell. Okay. And this is a plasma membrane. If I zoom here the plasma membrane, Okay, some molecules need to move from their higher concentration to lower concentration. It is in the passive transport. But in active transport, this is totally opposite. Against the concentration gradient. I am telling again and again. this point. So this is, let's assume it is a protein channel. Or the carrier protein. Mainly channel and carrier proteins are involved. channel protein and the carrier protein and carrier proteins are mainly uh, two times voltage gated and the uh, ligand specific we know now let's assume sodium concentration is very much higher in the outside of the cell this is the sodium concentration is very very much high okay and in cell is a lower level of sodium ions okay so but cell need to transport the sodium from the inside of the cell to outside okay so there is a protein which helps the sodium ion to transfer from the intracellular region to the extracellular region okay the name of the protein or the transported protein is Sodium potassium ion transfer, ion transporter, sorry. Because why it is potassium? Because in case of every three, uh, uh, out of every three sodium ion, three sodium ion or exclusion of three sodium ions, two potassium ion can enter in the cell. Two K plus ion can enter into the cell from the outside environment. Okay, so this is the concept of the sodium potassium ion transport, and this is the active transport process. And this transport carried out by hydrolysis of ATP. 
so here is the atp and this energy is uh, comes from adp plus pi when atp break down to adp and inorganic phosphate the energy this energy this energy causes the extrusion of the sodium and intrusion of the potassium this is known as the primary active transport okay but there is another transport when the concentration of sodium sodium ion is too much high in the extracellular environment then what is happen then in extracellular sodium is too much high high sodium okay and this sodium as it is a too much uh, gradient of sodium this sodium wants to move in the cell again into the cell again and this causes the transport of another molecule known as glucose glucose and sodium ion transfer in the cell into the cell simultaneously okay this uh, the protein which helps or facilitate the transfer known as a sodium and glucose co-transporter protein sodium and glucose co-transporter okay then so uh, with the sodium glucose can also take entry into the cell from the outside environment or the extracellular region okay but this process doesn't require any type of energy and this uh, the higher concentration of sodium and in the cell is a lower concentration this takes place from the higher concentration to lower concentration then what we call this type of transport it is a passive transport but no the result is no or the answer is no this transport and coupled or takes place after the atp hydrolysis the energy comes from the atp hydrolysis this is the result of the uh, na and uh, sodium potassium ion transport from the atp hydrolysis hence this transport is known as the secondary active transport this is the primary active transport i was forgot to tell you this is a primary active transport and this process with the sodium and glucose ion transport is known as the secondary active transport this is uh, this looks like a passive transport but this is not a passive transport because uh, because you know that the energy is not needed and the uh, sodium concentration is high and the transport takes place from the outside or the higher concentration to the lower concentration so we can tell it that is a passive transport but no it is the result of the sodium potassium ion transport or the primary transport Pri primary active transport sorry this is the result of primary active transport so this is known as the secondary active transport but we have a two name another two name when two same molecules when two molecules looks it is x and it is y when okay so when x and y molecules a take entry x is going outside of the cell x is going outside and y is come inside in the cell this type of transport is known as antiport this type of transport is known as antiport and when two molecules take entry in the same direction in or out known as the sim port okay because here is glucose and sodium take entry from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell hence this is known as the sim port okay 
okay and what is unipod unipod is very simple idea very simple concept of the unipod unipod normally from a transporter only one type of molecule can take entry okay this is known as the unipod but but this is the antipod and sodium and potassium your sodium is uh, three sodium out and uh, two potassium in into the cell from the out and in of the sodium potassium one is known as the antipod and uh, as the glucose and sodium takes place uh, takes entry from outside to the inside it is known as the symport okay so this is the idea of the active transport in the next video we will talk about the another uh, active transport process known as the exocytosis and the endocytosis okay so if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel to get up the updates of more videos so stay happy and keep learning thank you